According to one of my subscribers, some of the heat issues with this laptop can be fixed by opening it up and repasting it. So I figured I would give that a shot. I was hoping this would just pop up now, but clearly there's at least one or two more screws in the middle because it's not wanting to lift. So we are gonna have to go in here with some isopropyl alcohol and clean it up afterwards. Make it look a little bit nicer again. Ah, oh, there's so many screws. What the heck? Look at this. One, four, and hopefully this is it. It'll just pop right up. We'll get our first view of the insides of this laptop. The corner screws are tiny. So yeah, there's our insides of this little tiny laptop. And look at this. You can see exactly just how small the battery is. This side of the laptop gets really hot. I wonder if there's something we can do to try and dissipate heat into the back of the laptop a little bit better on this side. It's such a long heat pipe and then there's a little teeny tiny fan here. There is a single stick of RAM and what looks like a 2280 SSD, which is just honestly kind of insane. That's a really big SSD for a tiny device. There's a little fan cable that needs to come off and everything else should just lift up and pull out. Yeah, that uh, thermal paste there is very runny. It doesn't really give me the best impression. This cooling solution also is very likely meant for something a little bit lower end. Let's dab up as much of it as we can. There's a single stick of RAM, one channel RAM. Well, that's not optimal, but it is kind of interesting that it is a stick of RAM. So theoretically you could remove it and upgrade it. I don't want to be absolutely roasted for my thermal paste job here, so I'm not going to show thermal paste application. That will do. That's good enough. Let's get the screws back in. We'll be done with it. You know what? All I have to say is at least the battery is pretty easy to replace. I'm glad that I didn't wreck it. Honestly. One thing I'm gonna make sure to do once I've closed this back up is to not tape over top of the screws. That to me is pretty important. I might not be able to avoid doing the corner screws, but we'll see. I probably could have gone as far as modifying it so that the feet don't stretch the whole way across the back. Right, well, in the time that it took me to find and plug in my controller, we basically saturated back to 100 degrees Celsius, which is better than before. Before it was nearly instantly at 100 degrees Celsius. This time it took, you know, three to five minutes. I can feel warm air coming out of the side. Previously, that was not the case. The air that was coming out of the side was cold. So 
I do think that repasting it had a bit of an effect. Unfortunately, the cooling is just completely inadequate. You know, it's been a while since I've played games on this laptop, since I was afraid of accidentally burning it up. Oh, look, 97 Celsius. Yeah, good. What if I unplug it? Ha, huh, look at the temperature dropping. So quickly. 93. Honestly, some of this is just bad thermal design. Some of this is the power delivery. I, I don't know. I think that if you were motivated to open this thing up, install a new fan, maybe you could get it even more. Like all of the airflow is choked off to the one side of the device and there's nothing pulling through this side, despite the fact that there's vents on the bottom. Watch, we'll plug it back in and it's gonna just jump right to 100 degrees Celsius again. <laughs> yep, what did I tell you? <laughs> ah! Okay, well, thanks for watching, I guess.